Hi there, this is Courtney and Emmy, and this is our homework 20, the last homework of our Engineering 460 Digital Simulation class. So for homework 20, we were just asked to kind of give an update of where we're at at the project and then demo what we have. And so I'll give a quick little project overview and then Emmy will demo. And so we're basically wanting to use Monte Carlo to simulate the Hawk Dove game in MATLAB. Um, so the Hawk Dove game you can see here to the right, this figure is the payoff matrix. And so it's done through the perspective of this side. So if I choose to be a hawk and the other player is also a hawk, we have a prize that we have a cost of an escalated fight is being subtracted from and then we divide that. If I choose hawk and they are a dove, I get the whole prize, I don't have to split anything. If I am a dove and they're a hawk, I don't get anything and they get everything. But if we both choose to be doves, then we just split the prize. So with our project, we want to do it where player B is unknown, and our whole idea is to see if player A can learn player B's strategy and then use it to win. So we want to see how fast player A can learn player B's strategy. So now Emmy is going to give a quick demonstration of the code that we have so far in MATLAB. All right, so here's the MATLAB code for it. Uh, we start off by initializing number of simulations. We give V a number, we give C a number, which is a prize at our cost. We initialize A and B. Large A, I mean capital A and capital B is basically what we've initialized as, um, that is a variable for if they are a hawk or a dove. One means they're a hawk, zero means they're a dove. We initialize them up here. We give them a starting bank, so bank for A, bank for B. This is the way we keep track of how much money they have, quote unquote. Um, player A and player B, this is uh, initializing the random um, number we're assigning to them. <clears throat> so this is what we'll initialize. This is what we'll do to basically look at if they're a hawk or a dove. Uh, I'll explain that real quickly. So for this example, player B, we assign them a random variable. And we say if player B is less than 0.5, they're going to be a dove. Otherwise, if they're above it, they're going to be a hawk. So what that means now, we can see that B equals zero because we're going to use B as a player to, to put up against each other. Um, and then we run into this for loop. We start off initializing x equals 0.5. x is actually our, our moving variable that we will decide whether player A is a hawk or dove. So in the same way that we looked at if player A is less than 0.5, which will be the first run through the simulation, or greater than 0.5, uh, as we run through the simulation, you'll see here, for example, uh, what we're doing is actually changing this variable x and allowing it to become more, uh, if it keeps, continues to win, we're incentivizing it to become a hawk or a dove as if, if it continues to win or lose. Obviously, it'll be a continue to win if it becomes a hawk. So these basically run through the four scenarios. They're either both doves, player A is a hawk, player B is a dove, player B is a hawk, player A is a dove, or they're both hawks. And we did their, um, as in the matrix, we did all of their calculations here. And then we recorded their information. Uh, we can shut down the game if uh, one just decides they're just way better than the other. If uh, the bank of A and the bank of uh, over the bank of B is greater than five, which means bank A is just much better, we break it and so on and so forth. And then we're able to run into these subplots right here, which is we're recording X's and recording decisions for A. <clears throat> so figure A right here. Let's look on the right subplot two. Subplot two are the decisions that player A has made. They first make the decisions for to be a one or a zero. One being a hawk, zero being a dove. And as you can see, what they're doing is they're going through, going through, and their x right here, this is their x value that they're choosing. In other words, it starts at 0.5, initialized at 0.5, and it slowly, as it learns that it's a uh, what the other player B is, it can start to say, hey, uh, we're incentivizing it to pick to be a hawk more so than being a dove. So as you can see, this runs down, which makes it always then choose to be a hawk. We've incentivized that. So that right there is the MATLAB code for homework 20. Um, thank you for watching.